Social Solutions is excited to announce the next release of Efforts to Outcome software. Jamie and I are here to highlight some of the key features in this new release. We feel that these features, along with the other features in this new release, continue to assist our clients in their goal of becoming high-performing agencies. With this new release, Social Solutions continues to ensure that the end user has easy accessibility to information when they need it most. In the release, we have made several new additions to our dashboard functionality. Our new dashboard template feature allows administrators to configure their users' dashboards so that the user is presented with the key data that their agency needs to track. The administrator has the option to lock down the dashboard for the end user or to set a default dashboard that the end user could still customize to meet their individual needs. In addition to the dashboard template feature, we have also expanded the scope of our dashboard parts. Users can now view a referral dashboard part that quickly allows them to view referrals recently made for their participants and access that participant's record quickly. Also, we have expanded the functionality of our recent efforts part to allow greater flexibility in the information that is presented to the user. Jamie will now walk you through how these exciting new features can be used by our customers. Jamie? Some of our new features on the dashboard include the recent referrals part. The recent referrals part displays information about the referrals that have been made recently. These, this information includes the reason for referral, the referral type, that where the referral came from or where it went to, the referral status, and the date that the referral was made. From here, you can click the New link and create a new referral. After the referral has been made, the option to add another referral is available in addition to the new option to return to the dashboard. You'll then see that your referral part has been updated with the information from the previous referral. Clicking the View All link takes you to the same page that the link in your navigation bar to View Edit Referrals displays. Other enhancements to the dashboard include updates to the recent efforts part. It is now possible to select just one point of service per recent efforts part. And from there, you can also select to show additional information, including the date of next contact, contact location method, value recorded, time spent, and if there are any effort qualifiers, those will also display. Checking off the items that you want to display will update the part. To show the information that you're interested in. After saving the updates, your part will show the information that you've selected. We've also updated the recent assessments part so that it can t also be filtered to show just one assessment. Another great new feature for our dashboards is the ability to create a dashboard template. To create these templates, go into your navigation bar and go to Manage Dashboard Templates. From here, you can create a new template, selecting either to create a participant dashboard template or a staff dashboard template. The staff dashboard template will populate a template for the My Dashboard that loads for each staff account. You'll also want to create a name for your dashboard template that can be accessed later.
You'll have the option to scope it across your enterprise or just for your specific site. In here, your template will load with a default setting that matches the default setting when you first load ETO. You can move your parts around using the same drag and drop feature that has been available for some time. Additionally, you can add new parts by clicking to add ETO parts, selecting the parts that you want to appear, and then choosing the area on the dashboard that you'd like them to load in. Once your changes have been made, click Done Editing. After that, you'll want to click on the name of your template and create assignments for who's going to have access to this template. Click Add Assignment, choose the site and the programs that this template will apply to. You can also choose the roles for the template to apply. At the bottom, you'll notice that you can choose to allow users to edit their own dashboard, or you can, by not checking anything, users will not be able to make any edits to their own dashboard. All of the assignments will show up in this page now. If you need to make any adjustments to the dashboard, you can click Edit from here, and it'll take you back. Once you go back to My Dashboard, you'll notice that the changes are in place if the program and your user role have been selected. Please keep in mind that any updates made to the dashboard template will override any updates that a user has selected to their dashboard. Almost anyone that uses ETO knows that the assessment feature holds some of our clients' most crucial data. This feature offers a rich set of roles that an administrator can enable to ensure quality data is being entered into ETO without cluttering the screen with unneeded questions or requiring duplicate data entry. This allows the user to focus on what is most important, the clients they are serving. With the new release of ETO software, we have expanded our conditional rules to further our commitment to quality data, data being tracked and reported on within ETO. Jamie will now walk you through these new features. To manage the new assessment updates, we're going to go to Manage Survey Assessment in our navigation bar. Each of the new features that's available for assessments can be managed on an assessment by assessment basis. So we're going to review an assessment. Up at the top of your assessment, you'll now notice two additional options for managing your pre-populate. Down here on the left, you'll see allow pre-populate to other sites and allow pre-populate from other sites. By default, allow pre-populate from other sites will be checked off. This new feature will allow the pre-populate that has always been a part of ETO assessments to now be a part of assessments that are copies of a master and linked together and exist on different sites in the same enterprise. In addition to this enhancement for pre-populate, at the bottom of the screen you'll notice that there's an option to manage which elements are available for pre-populate. In here you'll see that allowed to pre-populate is checked off by default for all elements. If there are some elements that should not pre be pre-populated from assessment to assessment each time it is recorded, you can uncheck it and click Save. That element will need to be filled out each time an assessment is recorded. In addition to the pre-populate adjustments that have been made for assessments, we've also enhanced the conditional rules going down to the bottom of the assessment page and going in to add edit conditional rules for this assessment, you'll notice that 
there is a new option. So after choosing your assessment element, you can see that in your options for conditional rules, you have some additional rules that say equal to element, not equal to element, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, all for elements. This allows you to compare multiple elements to one another and create conditions based on that. So if this element is equal to that element, make required the following element. This is an especially helpful tool for comparing dates to one another and numeric values that are being entered. For more information on these or any other features in this release, please refer to our newsletter or go to our help manual within ETO software. Thank you.